This video is an introduction to a calculating device known as the Chessboard Abacus, or Location Arithmetic. It was developed by John Napier, and it kind of looks like a game board. Napier himself actually said that um, calculating with this is more a lark than a labor, and that is because it feels very much like a game. We'll be putting counters on here and moving them around, and that's how we'll be getting the answers to um, problems in arithmetic. The board can be as large or as small as you like. Um, and by the way, these circles are not necessary. It's just something that I have off to the side for reference as I'm creating numbers and working with numbers. Here's another board that I developed. It's larger, has more squares, and you don't see those circles on it. So one of the things to know about this board is that if you move a marker diagonally from lower left to upper right, you maintain the same value. This is a four, it's one group of four. But if I move it diagonally in this way, it's still a four because it's two times two, two groups of two. Move again, it's still four because now it's four groups of one. So moving along in diagonal like this, no matter where you are, maintains the value. So we could do that with a 16. 1 times 16, now we've got 2 times 8, and so on, all the way up the diagonal. Another thing to know about is what happens if you move um, orthogonally, left to right. So again, let's start with a 4. If I want to move to the right, what happens is that this one marker, or counter, becomes 2, because 1, 4 is equal to 2 groups of 2. And moving to the right, if we have two markers in one place, it's going to become one marker in the next place, because as we go along, we're doubling. The same thing would be true going up and down. And then the last piece we need to know before we can start working with this as a calculating device is that the hardest thing we're going to do is to change our ordinary numbers into location numbers. So if I want to work with the number 10, I'm going to have to represent that as an 8 plus 2. 8 plus 2 is 10. If I want to work with the number 7, it's going to be 4 plus 2 plus 1. That's equal to 7. Um, you know, and we, we would call that binary, right? In today's modern age where things are digital, um, we're reasonably familiar with binary. That's not the way that Napier would have thought of it. He thought of this as writing numbers using locations. So let's just do one more. Let's do 23. So that's going to be 16 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. That gives us 23. And so that's really what you need to know to get started doing arithmetic on the chessboard abacus.